Hi everybody, my name is Deanna Fitzgerald and I am the Lighting Design Professor at the School of Theatre Arts at the University of Arizona. And I'm sharing this film with you because we have a very unusual problem with our lighting system right now that's taken us a few days to track down. And it's, uh, it's one of those problems that uh, everybody's saying, oh, we've never seen anything like this before. So I thought it would be interesting to make a video and uh, get it out there for all of the other uh, technical theater geeks to take a look at. And, and perhaps there is somebody out there who has seen this before and knows what's going on. The uh, ETC is going to be working on the problem, but I won't tell you what the problem is until after I've shown it to you. Um, the, uh, I will tell you, it started about three weeks ago. Uh, during a technical rehearsal for the show that we're doing now, which is called Roman Coke. And uh, it manifested itself in uh, basically flashing lights. Uh, so we would run a queue and uh, lights would flash that were not in that queue. And in the beginning it was not at all consistent, so we had a lot of trouble figuring it out because we couldn't make it happen more than once. So throughout the technical rehearsal, every now and then a queue would run, some lights would flash and then go back out. So initially we thought this is probably a DMX problem. We probably thought we had some faulty termination somewhere. We couldn't tell if it was happening on more than one universe, uh, but we thought that it was, which meant that it probably wasn't a termination problem. But at any rate, we didn't really know where to go, so we started with termination. And uh, for those of you who, who maybe are just learning about all that, uh, there's a concept called reflection with DMX uh, data signal, where the DMX data signal will go down the line and eventually, if it hits the end of the line and has nowhere to go, sometimes, but not all the time, and not with any sort of consistency, it will, that signal will bounce back up the line, which will cause two sets of data to be going to all of your devices. So the equipment gets confusing data, and it doesn't know what to do, so it'll do things that you don't want it to do. So we went around the theater, and we made sure that all our, all our DMX devices were terminated. And we checked all of our cables, we reset our dimmer racks, we rebooted the board, we did a whole bunch of things, and, and the problem seemed to go away for probably two or three days. And then it, the next time it came back, uh, it was a similar problem, lights flashing, but it was a little bit worse the second time around. But again, it still was not repeatable. We'd have the lights flash in a queue, we would try to run that sequence again, and it wouldn't happen. So we, we still aren't at a point where we could, we still were not at a point where we could recreate the problem and then start working on making the problem go away. So at that point we went through again, checked all connections and cables. We found, uh, we're using an Obsession 2, I should tell you that. Uh, we found that the Ethernet cable between the Obsession and the processor didn't have the clips on it, so it wasn't seated quite well. So we replaced that. Um, we replaced some other cables, just kind of went through the system, did it all again, double checked everything, and again the problem went away. And this time the problem went away for about a week and a half. We thought we were golden, we thought, yeah we got it, it was the Ethernet cable. Uh, but then we opened the show on last Wednesday. On Sunday, uh, the show was running, ran Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We weren't changing anything in the programming. We did have a couple of scroller glitches that the programmer was working on, but he had not changed anything on Saturday night. Uh, Sunday during the show, the problem came back with a super vengeance. It, uh, it happened in, in every single queue during the show with the exception of maybe five or six queues. And it was dreadful. At times it was just one or two lights, but more often than not it was the entire stage flashing. And again, these are not uh, channel levels that are in the queues. They're not there. When you go back and you go to a queue, you look at it, those channels are not there. So somewhere in the system, the, those lights are deciding to come on on their own. So this time, the good news is, after Sunday, we were able to recreate the problem. And that gave us the chance to say, okay, here's the problem. Yes, we still have it. Now we can remove a component. Do we still have it? Yes, so it wasn't that component. And, and move on through the system that way. The first thing I did was, um, this is a, this theater was, was renovated about 10 years ago. I've been the lighting professor for the last year and uh, I haven't really dug into the lighting system. We've just kind of been using it. So I didn't really know what cables were going where, how many DMX outputs I had, any of that sort of thing. So the first thing I did was kind of dig in and, and try to do a system diagram the best I could. And in the process I did find, you know, a spare wire here or there that was maybe a little loose. So we tightened that up. Um, made sure that everything was as good as it could be. And then we came back to the board to see if we still had the problem and we did still have the problem. So let me now next, I'm going to point the, uh, the video camera at the stage and show you an example of the problem because now that it's repeatable I can show you what's happening. Okay, so now I'm going to run this cue sequence, and you want to watch the, the, uh, 
down left portion of the stage where you see some texture on right now. As I run this next cue, you're going to see some diagonal backlight texture, those leaves come up. This is the channel that, that we can get to do this continuously. So, so keep an eye on this channel and I'm going to run another cue sequence and at some point you're going to see these lights flash. They go out. Some cues are running. Here comes the next cue sequence. Keep your eye down left. And I should say, it doesn't always happen in the same place, but it always happens, so bear with me. There it is. So that flash of light that you saw down left is not in any of the cues.